My name's Tishar. I'm a producer and songwriter. I'm originally from Sydney, but now I live in LA. I've lived in LA for the last eight years. I have worked with artists such as Demi Lovato, Steve Aoki, Charlie XCX, Zayn, Nicki Minaj, Noah Cyrus, Chris Brown. So when the Demi song went number one, I thought, man, this is amazing. Like, out of all the songs that are around in the world right now, ours is the number one song in the world. Mama, I'm so sorry, I'm not sober anymore. I've done a bunch of work in Korea. I have had the biggest Indonesian song of last year. I had a Chinese record with this guy, Lu Han, who was in a big K-pop group called EXO. The babyface thing was really cool. That's like the soundtrack to our lives for any of us, especially any of us in, I feel like, ethnic communities. We really grew up on that music. So um, to work with him was surreal, amazing. Tusha, I think, was very special for these guys because there was a freshness and a newness to his sound. Tusha was one of those unknown songwriters, very courageously packed himself up and moved to LA without any assistance, without any infrastructure. He'd been there two years, surviving, I believe, off noodles. I hit the absolute bottom. I, th I thought, I'm going to move back to Sydney and book my flight and go home. I got a call from Millie. I called him. I said, well, the curators have brought us to your attention and they've also chosen you. We are funding your trip to Toronto to go and write for five days. And I think he started crying or was very excited. It was both. And he said to me that that was the day that he had decided to throw it all in and come home. The rest is history. He has signed a major publishing deal, which is very important for a songwriter and producer to have. And the world is his oyster now. My parents are from Buna and they came to Australia in 1981 as students. My dad was a PhD student and my mom also did her PhD in medicine here. And I think there's huge advantages in having the kind of cultural wealth and the ancient traditions that come from the Indian side. And then, you know, to also have the obvious advantages of growing up in Australia, you know, because from a personal point of view, this career path would have been very difficult for me if I had just grown up in India, you know. Part of, I think, what has also driven me is they have a very successful immigrant story of their own. That's the bar, you know, for me, as, as an American immigrant, you know, as well. So Tushar has recently also been appointed one of our first Indian-Australian ambassadors, which we're very, very excited about. And he will be based in LA and working for us as a representative. To give that courage and strength to say you can do this too. If one person with a creative bent can see this journey and uh, and hopefully step out from there, then that that's a responsibility I feel like I have to say, like there is a very real path you can take if you're a creative individual in our community. <laughs> <laughs>